everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another clothing subscription unboxing. Now today I have both Stitch Fix and Wantable. We are gonna be battling them out to see which one is better. If you have missed any of my previous try-ons from these subscriptions, I'll have them listed in the description box below, but I have done several reviews on Stitch Fix and several reviews on Wantable. Now I wanted to see how they compare in one single video since I happen to have both of them here at the same time. Both of these clothing subscriptions are pretty similar. Like you'll both have a $20 styling fee that's mandatory, non-refundable. I do think that one of them turns out to be like $21.65. I think that may be Wantable after taxes. Stitch Fix is just a straight $20 fee. Stitch Fix, you will also only get five articles of clothing, and that could be clothing, jewelry, shoes, anything like that, only five. Wantable, you get seven. You do get more of a variety with Wantable. Now, I do have both of them set at the lowest value settings that they offer on their website. I think both of them are set for articles of clothing that are under $100, like that's what I'm supposed to be getting. As I've seen in the individual boxes, it seems like Stitch Fix has more affordable clothes than Wantable, but we'll see how they compare today in this video. I think I will go ahead and start with Stitch Fix. You will always have a return envelope inside these boxes. And Stitch Fix just has their stuff nice and neat in this little package. This has all the details about the clothes and how much they are. We'll go over this at the end. The first thing poking out is this top. I will say that whatever fabric is used, it is very, very soft. I do like the design of it. The color's pretty. I'm not a huge stripe person unless it's like the blocks. I do like the blocks stripes, but these are little stripes. We'll have to see how it looks on. I do like the material. So that's a plus. Next, I have another soft feeling. What is this? Something really big. Oh, a maxi dress or one of those really long dresses. I do like the material and I do like the color. So we'll have to see how that looks on. I just don't know how it'll fit with my body shape. Next thing I have here is a blouse, maybe. It's got these little straps here. I don't know how this is supposed to be styled. Okay, this will be interesting to try on for sure. And I have a pair of shorts. This is my first time to see a pair of shorts in one of these boxes. It makes sense to get a pair now because we are entering spring. It does have some ripped frayed edges and ripped designs and it's a light color pair of shorts. So I'll see how that pairs with maybe the striped top. And then I have the classic pair of jeans. These look like it'll have a stretchable waist. Those are always good and comfy. I do like the dark color and the wash that it has right here. That's definitely my style. So we'll see how this pairs with the black top. That was Stitch Fix. Now let's see what's in my Wantable box. All right, and the Wantable box looks a little bit different. It is rolled like Stitch Fixes, only they use this tissue paper. I also have my return package and my information, which again, we'll go over at the end. This one has an interesting floral design top. Like this is actually a really cute looking spaghetti strap top. I don't know that I would have necessarily picked out something like this in the store, but I'm curious to try it on. This one is also florally, huh? But it's got a different design. The top part is different and it has a stretchy part around the bottom of the shirt. So we'll have to see how that looks on. Then I have, oh, they also sent me a little dress, only this one's black. So we'll be able to compare the blue dress versus the black dress. I worry about my body type and whether or not it really would be a good fit but I'll try it on for you guys and we'll just have to see. Okay, two blousey type tops. The material for these is like blouse material. They're not as soft or stretchy as some of the material used over here. So that is gonna be different. This dress material feels a lot like this dress material. They almost feel the same. Okay, the next thing I have here is this odd looking tank top. Like I'm kind of digging it. It almost looks sweater material without being sweater material. 
It is soft. It's a different kind of soft. And it also looks a little see-through, so I don't know about that aspect of it. Got some white down at the bottom. All right, they did send me a pair of jeans. This is a dark color pair of jeans. A different kind of jean look than what I have over in Stitch Fix. And then it looks like I have another pair of jeans. Like I hardly ever get sent two pairs of jeans. Oh no, they sent me shorts too. Look, it's gonna be battle of shorts and battle of dress and battle of jeans. Whoa, okay, definitely different style shorts over here. There's not a lot of ripped up parts. The back is just plain shorts. There's still something else in here. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because you get seven things in one table. What is this? I don't know if this is considered a jacket or just a nice, thick, long sleeve shirt. It does have buttons all the way up and down, so maybe I can wear it over one of the tops over here. We'll have to see. So that was everything in my Wonderful box. Now we need to go to the try on battle part of this video. and Let's see who did it better and then we'll come back here and figure out the pricing of everything to see which box truly has more value and better style. Battle of the Shorts number one. This is the Stitch Fix Shorts and top. The top actually has this curved, twisted design. The material, as I said, is very comfortable. I do like this part, it isn't too wide. I've had shirts in the past where they were really wide. Uh, actually, it's a really nice top. I still don't know how I feel about the stripes, but it is a nice feeling shirt. And I think it goes down a pretty good length. The shorts, I do like the fit. I think they are a little snug on me still, but as I continue to lose, if I continue to lose, they may get better. They do feel comfortable. They are a little short. I mean, they're not too bad, but they're just a little bit shorter than my fingertips. It is something I can wear during the summer, and I currently have zero shorts to wear. So that is something to think about, and I do think they fit pretty good all the way around. Now Stitch Fix did not send me extra clothes, so this is the only part that you're gonna get to see for Stitch Fix. I'm gonna switch to the Wonderful Shorts, and I may have one or two tops to try on with that. I'm not sure. Let's see what Wonderful has to offer. Here is the Wonderful top and shorts. Now these shorts are obviously longer than the Stitch Fix ones. They're also looser, so they're a lot bigger on me than what the Stitch Fix was. I'm pretty sure I have my sizes listed the same on both sites, but these are like a different fitting kind of pants. These are more comfortable on me now because they're a little bit looser, but I don't know how I feel about the length. I would probably be able to wear these shorts up at the school because they definitely go past my fingertips. I've just never personally been a fan of like really long shorts, but I'll have to like play this back and see how it looks on me and how I feel about it. They're like a high rise shorts. Like they just fit looser. It's not necessarily a bad thing. They do have pockets, that's good. Both of them had pockets. The material is a little bit more stretchy on this one. I don't know, I'm torn between the two shorts because I like them both, but I like them both for very different reasons. The top, I actually do like the way it feels and fits. It's not too snug. It may be a little too big though, like a little too loose than what I'm used to, but at the same time, I do like the floral pattern. I don't know, it almost reminds me of vintage type of shirt with the way that the pattern is. And it's like florally, but it's not defined florally. It's like a blurry floral. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, and then the back has this white part, as you can see. The only other part that I'm gonna do with this outfit is maybe try on that jacket because I already have two shirts that I'm gonna be trying on with the pair of jeans whenever we do the battle of the jeans, compared to one to full where I'll only have one shirt. So this is what the jacket looks like. Pretty nice jacket, it has a little bit of weight to it. It's not my favorite color. Like, it's really not. I kind of don't like this look right here. I don't know, it's not my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of the color. I think I would prefer to wear my clothes without it. The design of it is cute and I like the feel of it. Still think it's a nice little jacket. 
just not for me, maybe for somebody else. Time for the battle of the dresses. Here is the dress for Stitch Fix. As I said, I was a little worried about the fit and my body shape, and I just don't think it's a very flattering look for me. I mean, honestly, it just shows more than I really wish that it would. And then here's the back design of the dress. I definitely don't have the right top to wear a dress like that. You can see even here, like my sports bras, the straps don't cover them. As far as the material of the dress, I actually think the material is nice. I like the material of it. It feels really nice all the way down. It's a pretty simple dress. Like it's simple and it's clean. There are some things that I like about it. I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable with it right now. Like even right now you can see maybe the circular pattern of like my belly and my belly button. And that just, I feel weird about that. It's not something that I typically like to share. Even wearing this in a video is hard for me, but I wanted to be able to showcase the dress that they sent and how it actually fits. I would just have to say it's not for me. I do think it's a pretty dress. I think it's a really nice color and I think the feel of it and the material is great. So it'd be great for somebody else, just not for me. All right, let's see what the wantable dress is like. Okay, here is the black wantable dress. You can see already that it does not go down as far as the Stitch Fix dress went. I almost think that this dress is even tighter and more form fitting than the blue one which again, I'm not super comfortable with. It's not a style dress that I would be okay wearing in public right now. It's just not the most flattering. I do like that it's black, and black is supposed to be slimming. So I do see a little bit of a shape, but at the same time, like I know I've got my curves in my little pocket areas here. I don't know. Again, I think I'm in the same place with the blue dress. I think it's a really good design. I think it would look fabulous on somebody else. I just don't think it's for me just yet. The top is designed differently. You can see here that this one covers my type of sports bra, so it'd be a better fit for the top part. The back is actually a pretty good fit too. I like the design of the top part better. Goes better with what I have to work with at home for a type of dress like this, but I'm still gonna have to pass because I'm just still not comfortable showing all of my stuff. I'm glad I tried it on, but now let's move on to the battle of the jeans. This is the jeans and top. My jeans go pretty much all the way down to my socks. It's about where some of my other jeans are right now, so that's okay. Let's just go with the jeans first. They are stretchy material, which I appreciate that. They have dark jeans, but then it also has like a light wash on top. So it's a more interesting design and just something a little bit different than what I normally have. They do fit really, really good all the way around. I can move in them, which that's super important, especially when you're chasing kids around at school. Now, the top. I actually like this top. I think it's one of the closest blouse type tops that I've come across that I like. Um, I like this design too, right here. And it has this under shirt right here. So it's covered and it's not just, you know, a slit all the way down. I like that extra coverage and design feature to it. This has a little swoop that kind of swoops over, which gives it a little bit of interest. The top material is blousey, not very soft or movable, but the under material for it is stretchy. So I like that combination. I like the combination of fabrics there. Now the back of it, I think looks good. I don't think this is too big of a top on me. The back design for the shirt is just a straight, simple, you know, design back here. All in all, I really like the jeans and the top. Don't know if I'll be able to keep both of them based on the two boxes and what I can afford, but I do like these two. So that's a win for me. You'll have to let me know what you think. All right, let's try out the wantable jeans. And for that one, I will have two blouse tops to share and then we will be done. All right, here's wantable jeans and top number one. So let's start with the jeans. 
The jeans go down about the same length, maybe a little bit longer than the Stitch Fix ones, but they are a higher rise jeans. Like the other ones were high rise, but I feel like these are even higher rise. Same thing with the shorts. They're a little bit looser and just stretchy material, which is great. I do like the color of them. They're not as interesting as the Stitch Fix ones, which had the lighter top right here. And then you could tell like the difference between the light and dark, but they're still a really good pair of jeans. Um, they fit really, really well. Another pair of jeans that I would be able to move around in chase kids around in. For top number one, this is a blouse and it is definitely just a blouse. So the only material is the non-stretchy blouseness material. I don't even know what it is. They do have stretch right here, which I think gives it a little bit of an interesting design to make it a little bit more form fitting. And then you have a little bit of a loose top here. I actually don't mind that part at all. The actual floral design of it, I like. Like it's nice, it's black, it's got all these pretty flowers on it. It's something I could wear to work if I wanted to dress nice. And I like the cut right here. And my sports bra doesn't show, so everything is covered and that is a nice aspect too. Now the back part looks like this. All in all, I think it's a pretty good fit. Now let me go get the other blouse and then we'll see how that one pairs with this pair of jeans. Back with the white blouse. Now this one is not as form fitting as the other one. It's a lot bigger, a lot looser. I actually don't know how I feel about that. It feels a little too big. Even the straps up here, like one, they're spaghetti straps, so this would not work for me at work. It's almost like they tried to take a blouse top material and turn it casual with a spaghetti strap. So the top part isn't for me. I also don't like how big it is. It's almost a little too big. Not my favorite style. What I do like about this top is the design. I actually prefer like the white with the flowers on this one compared to the other one with the black and the flowers. If this pattern was on that design top, I would definitely keep it, but it's not. Like this strap doesn't work for me. That is all the clothes that I have. Let's go check out some prices. That was a lot of fun trying out both. I do have some tough choices to make, but maybe my choices will get a little bit easier after I find out how much these things actually cost. I think what I'm gonna do is try to give you the prices of the things during each battle and then i will give you an overall total for both boxes at the end for the stitch fix shorts those were the just usa willa mid rise distressed fray shorts they were 44 dollars, and the top was by nine britain levi knot front knit tee in dark pink and that was 34 dollars. so that's a pretty reasonably priced top i guess a reasonably priced shorts i'm not really sure i haven't bought shorts in so long it does still seem like a lot considering there's a lot less material of denim but from what i remember that doesn't necessarily make a difference whenever they're pricing shorts <laughs> <laughs> now with Wantable, the jeans were the Marley Mid-Rise Distress Frayed Cuff Short in Medium, $58. The top was the Caddy Slub Tank Blue Ditzy, $50. So the top was almost $15 more than Stitch Fix's top. They were different in style. Stitch Fix's top was a lot more simple with just the stripes. This one had an actual pattern and it almost felt like it was hand sewn. Like it was a definitely an upgraded pattern to it. The tannish looking jacket, which they're calling that a shacket, the Cyrus knit shacket, whatever that is, that was $77. I'm definitely not keeping it. It wasn't the right color for me, but I can see how the style might work with different outfits, maybe if it was in a different color. That was the shorts battle. Moving on to the battle of the dresses. Now both dresses were no for me, just based on how tight fitting they were. And I just didn't think that they were very flattering for my body type. Maybe that's just me, but that's how I felt about it. The dress was the Market and Spruce Alicia Knit Maxi Dress in Navy for $48. So I think that is very reasonably priced for a maxi dress. and. Like I said, there was a lot of positives about it. If it fit me a little bit more flattering, then I would consider keeping it. Maybe. I didn't like the straps at the top. So that part would have been a, a no for me. 
Now the black one did fit me up here a little bit better. From Wantable, that was the Skylar dress in black gentle fawn and it was $78. So right there, it's already $30 higher than the Stitch Fix one. And there really wasn't that much difference. It had like a better material up here. It was in black, it didn't go all the way down. It was still a simple, clean design, but it's valued $30 higher. I don't know that I would have kept it even if it was great fitting on me. That's pretty pricey for me anyways right now. Now let's move on to the battle of the jeans. So the jeans that I got from Stitch Fix were the 1822 denim winter low rise butter skinny jeans, $48. Very reasonably priced jeans. They have them listed in the color indigo. And the top that I wore with it was the 41 Hawthorne clear water mixed material, and then it cuts off, but I'm thinking mixed material shirt and that was $58. The most expensive thing that I had in this Stitch Fix, and it does have mixed material, it does have that blousey type material. I thought it was cute. I don't know that I'll be able to keep it, but I did like it. So if I do send it back, it won't be because I didn't like it. It'll just be because I can't afford to keep everything. Now let's look at the Wantable. The jeans over here were the Abbey High Rise Ankle Skinny in Bronte. They said that I requested these, so I'm wondering if this is the pair that I had originally requested back then that I liked and couldn't afford to keep, but I'm not sure because these were actually $98, and that's a lot of money for jeans. These were definitely high rise. I just don't know that I need another pair of jeans right now, so I don't know that I'll keep them. I've been wearing the last pair of jeans that I kept in one of these boxes. Now the black blouse, that was the floral woven smocking waist tank in black, red, and yellow. It was $56, so that was actually cheaper than the Stitch Fix blouse. I'm a little surprised. I like that one. I'll have to see how it fit when I go back and like review the footage since I need to get a mirror. I need to get a mirror when I'm doing these try-ons so that I can see what I look like because I'm just trying to look through this little tiny, tiny, tiny screen from far away and it's so hard to tell. I need to just get a giant mirror. Needs to be on my list. Okay, and the last blouse was the floral printed cami in white multi something. Maybe the pattern was multi, it was $52. So it did cost less than the black one. I didn't like that one as much. I liked the print on it didn't care so much for the strapped design of it. But that was it for the two battles of the boxes. Now for Stitch Fix, my overall total was $232. If you keep all of it, you get a $58 discount. Brings my total to $174. Then you take off the $20 styling fee and it says there's free shipping, bringing my total to $154. If I decided to keep the entire box, which isn't too bad, but in order for me to keep the entire box, I would have to love everything in the box. If I don't love everything in it, then I'm not gonna keep everything. You know, I don't wanna waste my money. For Wantiful, my total box over here, remember that it had two extra pieces of clothing compared to Stitch Fix, was $469. So right off the bat, way higher. I would say right about double the price. If you kept at least five plus items, you would get a discount of $93.80, bringing your total down to $374.20. Then if you take off the $21.65 styling fee, but then you added in your sales tax of $30.95, it would bring your order total back up to $384.50. That's too much for me. Even if I loved everything in a wonderful box, I would never be able to keep it all because I can't afford to spend $400 a month on clothes. That's too much for me. I would never be able to do it. With Wonderful, I've only been able to keep maybe one thing if I kept anything. And that's just how I have to do it because I can't afford to keep the whole box. That is a difference between the two is Wantable's boxes are going to be more expensive. Yes, they do have two extra pieces of clothing, but two extra pieces of clothing shouldn't have caused it to more than double what Stitch Fix was able to show. And they brought similar designs. They both had a pair of jeans. They both had a pair of shorts. They both had a maxi dress. They both had blouses. So you get similar type clothes in both boxes, but on average, Wantable's prices are more. 
and that's just how it is. Now there have been things that I've kept from Wonderful, so I'm not gonna say that Wonderful is not worth getting because I think it is worth a try. I would never be able to keep the entire box. I did also wanna note, on Stitch Fix, they do not note the tax. So you can tell that I said that with Wonderful, you had to add back the $30.95 tax. I have noticed that when I actually go to check out on the Stitch Fix website, if I decide to keep something, they charge you tax. They just don't show the tax listed down here. I don't know if that's different compared to when you keep everything because I've bought individual things from my boxes and have had to pay tax when on the product card right here, it doesn't show the tax. So that's just something that I've noticed since having the subscription for a while. Overall, for Battle of the Stitch Fix, I think they both send great clothes, great designs, but cost-wise, I have to give it to Stitch Fix. Variety-wise, you may get more variety from Wantable. You get more options within your monthly box to look at. You let me know down in the comments which one you think is the better clothing subscription box. Which one do you think you would try if you have not tried either of them before? If you are wanting to try out either Stitch Fix or Wonderful, I will have links in my description box which will give you a discount off of your very first box when you buy something. I do not think you have to keep the entire box in order to get credit. I think that it'll give you a discount even if you just kept some of the items that came out of your box. I will have those links down there just in case. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this little mini fashion haul that I had today. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.